Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Right now, I'm going to check out a couple jobs uh, that called for service. Um, also, I'm going to go pick up some fertilizer and quite possibly check out the guys, see what they're doing today. Um, one more thing that uh, we got going on, obviously, the GIE we got going on. We want to get to that this year, bringing the whole crew. I think I talked about that in the last video. But I also talked about uh you know projects i've been doing this year um obviously my whole entire yard here has been kind of transformed into what a shop you know should look like or be functional like so i got to get some fertilizer today because we're doing our final round uh, usually it takes us like a week or something to get done, but um, we're also doing core aerations right now. Um, we'll probably start that either today or tomorrow. Um, our week next week looks kind of wet, so <laughs> that's going to be a challenge. Uh, how do you guys do that when you guys get those type of rain weeks? I see all over the country, you know, like hurricanes happening right now, um, tornadoes, just wet weather. I noticed earlier in the year uh, a bunch of states were just getting hit with weather. I just don't know how you guys do it, to be upfront with you. I mean, even being in the business as long as I've been, there's weeks that go by. I'm just like, how are we going to get this all done? Um, and I can truthfully tell you, like in the past 18 years we've been in business, I think there's only been like three properties we were not able to do because it rained. Um, but one just recently, actually, uh, the whole entire backyard was flooded. So, <laughs> I mean, stuff like that, I mean, nothing you can do about, but to flat out have it be like a rain week or something or a rain day and then you just ran out of time, um, that's a tough one, man. But right now, yeah, I'm going to go get this fertilizer, go check on these jobs, go check on the guy. Okay. All right, I tried to get video of us out there uh, mowing. We're on a rain week right now, and I went out and help actually earlier. As you can see, the black truck's not here. Well, my guy that actually takes on that crew was out fertilizing. He's our fertilizer guy. But he called me up earlier and he said, uh, I'm all done fertilizing. You want me to take over the route? So they're still out there. Uh, we'll get some footage of them coming back, I guess, changing blades. But I sharpen all the blades for these guys um, after being out there eight hours myself. Um, we got some great news today. One of the big reasons I'm glad that Derek, the guy who called me and said, hey, you want me to take over the route? Uh, we're getting a tractor. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it or show it. Um, it's a tractor for snow plowing. That's what, the reason we're getting it. Um, it has a 10 foot cage snow plow. You guys know I love cage. Um, and if you don't know what a cage is, you're gonna have to Google that. It's cageinnovation.com. I'll put the link, you know, down below. But we are starting to get more and more commercial properties to the point where we just need more equipment, more power, like powerful equipment. Plus, it's not a small tractor. It's a John Deere 5115M. It's a 2014. It's used, obviously, but it only has 630 hours. Um, if you ever heard of a company called Green and Black, they're in Apple Valley, Minnesota. <coughs> It was their tractor, <clears throat> excuse me. So they made it happen, green and black. Nate and Justin, uh, they made it happen with their dealer down in Hastings, Minnesota, and I couldn't be happier. Um, I went to Nate and Justin's shop in Apple Valley to check it out one day. Um, it was so cool, because I know these guys are working like night shifts, you know, they do trucking also, but it was cool that they said, yeah, come on down, I'll show you it um, on a Saturday. <laughs> well, anyway, 
the deal went through everything's good to go just gotta wait on their dealer to give them a check to basically just have it delivered I mean it's so big they have to put it on a semi but I'll show you that tractor when we get it in another video but super exciting day I got the other mower now. So anyway, yeah, the tractor is kind of the highlight of our day and year. Um, it's really going to help our arsenal with the two Bobcats we got. You know, I got a new truck this year. It's not new, new, but, you know, new to me, new. Uh, bought that for myself, to be upfront with you. I never buy myself anything. Um, sold my son that Cadillac there it is um, he's loving it and I just had to get something to do you know use for estimates um, plus it's a great backup truck great um, can use it for plowing mowing hey oh your zippers down are you gonna get us your zippers